Hey, people. In school, they tell us that ancient people wrote by carving into stone. And some of it was. But the majority of it, you could tell by looking at it, that it was set in plaster. The stone was softened. You could tell by the writing. And a lot of it shows sign where the plaster is coming loose. The signs will look like this, where it's chipping even a, a layer off the top. But a clue is, is how perfect the lettering is. You know when you're trying to scratch your name in a piece of wood, your, your letters, all your letters, you won't have S's shaped like this. They'll be more like Z's. And some of it really does look like marble. It looks like real stone. And people say that our concrete, you know, our polymers won't hold up like that, and they won't. It's because we're just not as smart as they were. But the way this is done, I got this movie, uh, Why Take Ormus at All? And this man's talking about 37 minutes. He's talking about how to make Ormus. And uh, it's a good flick. Everybody needs to know about this. And But he'll talk somewhere in here. Uh, he'll talk about how they were making Ormus. And, and what they use is acid to cut the stone. And uh, 20 years later, where they were dumping the old product out, what they're doing is they're extracting rare metals out of it, extracting gold and silver out in a monatomic atom, you know, a single atom, so that the body can absorb it. But he talks about where it was 20 years old where they were doing this, and what they had poured out had turned back into marble. And that's how they were doing this. They were cutting. They were cutting this stone. They weren't just out there writing. They were out there cutting stone and collecting rare metals, and and they used the byproduct to be constructive, to leave messages. But there was people that were actually cutting into stone, and you could you could see that their letters aren't consistent. And uh, and so these people, you know, it's stone, paper's expensive, it's vellum, they were writing on vellum, you know, it's not easy to come by. And so you chose your words wisely. And so uh, they also stuck some punctuation in here, because some of these words read backwards and forwards. And so the punctuation can be a little dot in there. It could be a space between the letters is a different size, or it can be done with a final letter. A final letter lets you know that that's the end of a word, and that letter is shaped a little different. You can see it here in this book of the Moffrey Codes, the QPHD, the Feds. And so this is the word in the Bible given the meaning of the holy ones. But it's the, the feds, the, the, the doctors, PhDs. And so this is the, the Torah, T-U-R-A, the law of Nebium. The Nebium are the, the fortune tellers, the seers. And they see by and the cycle in make knowledge work from and so uh the space in here in this Torah you know that's that tells me that's punctuation it tells me it's a new word and uh it tells me this final letter here it lets me know that this is the end and so they probably trying to let me know to read this backwards so this is probably read the Maya N. B is N. The Mayan Nibius. And so the Mayans were definitely the first prophets. And uh, we'll get into that on uh, 
on the movie uh, for the Tower of Babel, I found I found that they're using the same uh, astrology as the Mayans. But the the Maya M I A I or M Y A I B is in the Maya and Nebiums, the Mayan prophets. So if you find that hard to believe, you could find this old Hebrew Bible. And I'll leave the link below to it. It'll have notes all through it. Oh, little marks, they're hard to see. But if you come on down at the bottom, it'll explain where to get more information on that stuff. And it'll, uh, it'll often send you over to this codex. Codex Vaticanus. And you can see on this page here on Seclorum, it's going to tell you what these mean. And so this is Codex Vaticanus. It's in here. And if you Google Codex Vaticanus, you can get a look at it. And what you're looking at is Mayan ceremonies. What does the Codex Vaticanus say? Vaticanus Latinus. But uh, there was a bunch of picture books that went with the Bible to help you understand it. Codex Vaticanus. How few the myths from that the Shamis and the Shamis learn from from they whiff from few from few this water they base and so this tour meaning the law is comes from tour is when you go on tour, if you're in an army and you go on tour, you're going to enforce the law around the world. The tour, the Mayan prophets. So this book is said to be written at uh, 200 A.D. or so, and you could you could see it here the the trudges T R G U final. M is an S, the trudges. So trudges is a, a laborious walk, heavy steps. Been working all day, my feet's covered in mud, got 10 pounds of mud in each boot, and trudging. A difficult, laborious walk. And you see all these words, it's mid 16th century of unknown origin. Uh, we just made it up in the 16th century because they don't want to tell you where these words come from. And so this is Onclus. A-U-N-Q-L-U-S. Final M is an S. When it's on this end, it's an S. It's read the other way, it's an M. So Onclus. Onc is power. You can see here that uh, Wikipedia says it had the meaning of life to trudge is lifeless. But the only people that had toted the Ankh were kings and gods in Egypt. And that means power to me. The kings and the gods are power. So the trudge is powerless. And you can see here in Egypt, you know, only the, the gods and the kings toted the Ankh and you can see the the label on the throne here, the the, the jed, and I believe that's a gyro. I believe that means here. I showed another movie how it was aligned with the gyro of Earth, the gyro, the year of Honky, the Honky. It's where your word Honky come from. And so he's talking about. Uh, Exodus. This is smut. S M U T. The smut. It said to be the names. A means one. It was Exodus one. 
and then that Aleph, if Exodus 1 1. To O Smut. And so this is uh, come from the Bible, and this is his writings about it. And you can see it's the trudges. The trudges, and it starts with A and it reads backwards, is I Z N K. Trudges is ink. So as can see. Trudges is ink, so as can see. And so they'll hide these codes in the in what they call the authors, the names, in the headers. And uh, so the headers have codes in them to help read, but you can see it here. That was the author's name. What what trudges is zinc is ink so as can see so as can see so you can see when this words read backwards and forwards the the trudges from walking of onkless onkless onk is the symbol of power held in Egypt and so he's onkless he doesn't have his own he doesn't have the power and then it's oppress, as in oppressed. But he's kind of teasing the word. It's just to press, to the press. We're going to write about it. We're going to put it in the book. To press make. What trudges is ink. So, so as can see. And then to in, you be, to in or. To, in, to enlighten. And so that or is actually uh, goals. Is m most likely reading backwards and then forwards. The light into in or. The light to in gold. So this is a word that everybody knows. They just changed the meaning of it. But it's of Nephilim. The Nephilim, and they try to tell you that means fallen angels. So you have to realize that fallen angels means the ones that were due the power but have fallen. The onkless. So I noticed this the other day. I was researching this word here when I seen that, uh, that only one of these bees has the dot inside of it. And that's, uh, that means that the first one's B and the second one's a V. So, and here it uh, has the tack here. It tells me to read this backwards and forwards. So now it's L-V-B-V-L. To love bevel. And so this word comes up several different ways. But only 4, 19... In other ways, but 184 the most ways it comes up. And I ran down this and looked, and every time it comes up, it doesn't have the dot in the middle B. That's a V, the bevel. And often it has the hyphen, so it's love bevel. But sometimes this doesn't, so it's the milk bevel, the king bevel. And it most most of the time it'll follow this word for king, the milk. And so what I do is I find it where it starts a chapter. And I ran into something else when I did that. So this is starting chapter Isaiah 47.1. It has this line that has you read the whole word backwards after you read it forwards. You were walking down the path and came to a roadblock and had to turn around. And so it's R-D-Y. Ready. R-D-Y. The ready and then you turn around. The I-D-R. The yod. I-D is the hand. The ready hand and R is first. The head top. The ready hand first. So your ready hand is uh, you carry your purse in your left hand and so your right hand is ready to grab your gun. 
grab your sword, your, your shoulder, your shield in the left hand, and your right hand is ready to grab your sword. So what that saying is right hand, and it's telling us to read this whole line backwards first. And that's how genius these writers were. Because most people don't even know this. Uh, the, whoever interprets this Bible doesn't know this. Because they'll try to interpret the whole thing this way. They don't understand the punctuation. And so this will read both ways. Although they don't have it right here either. But it reads a little different backwards because because they try to make it look like it reads this way for everybody that doesn't know. So this is the no, the G-N-O-W. It says playing on words as in the Gnostic, the G-N-O, the knowledge. The no, the crackle, crackle. War fi make pishu what to talk from hands from yods from hands give tabask not nay so to know the crackle of the war fire to make pishu talk from hands give the tab asks not Pishu is uh so this is Pishu he's hard to see here you see him better here he got the P and the shoe and uh, I talked about this before he's got all the codes in him everybody says he's just a shoe bear but he ain't hold on them shoes and Pishu is also the ancient word that means a cubit but the cubit is defined as the distance from your elbow to your wrist. And that's 12 inches. That means ruler. Pishu is the ruler of Babel. And you can see him marching into war here. And uh, I talked about this before. This is, this is written about in, uh, in many books. Every time you see it talking about sprinkling the blood, this is what he's talking about. And he marches into battle. It cuts everybody's head off. And nine out of the ten cuts their dick off too and puts it on their head. And these are the Khan. And this is the ruler of Khanopolis, the Khan to police. And he's policing the Khan man. The Khan is the the uh, the priest in the Bible. Con. The share of Ibis love in to battle in to battle what in repo of C Ibis to he's going to to repossess the Ibis the Toffs Share, share is the, is your earth, the share of what share you got when your dad died and split between your twelve sons, the share of the ibis, love into battle, in repo of see the ibis too, to go get his lands back. The use by all, you can see it right up here. Used by all. Reap offer. In tool. In the tool it. In tell. B. T. L. In tell. In bevel. The tool it tells in bevel is. Uh, is the obelisk. It tells the time. It tells the days. The Savi, S V Y, and the the ones who figure it out, the sharp ones, the Savi. 
Savishair of arts. Naya. Not ask. Not ask so in takes this. D-I-S. This. This. In T-K-S. D-I-S. Not ask so in takes this. Kill. To sippy. Make fro. Call. Colic. Rake. To see the seed lift life. O N G E. To O neg. To see the seed lift life. So this to sippy. Uh, as in the Mississippi, they say that means Great River. And I think that's bull, too. But you can see the P-I at the end is the mouth. The sip B. And so the sip is, is just a little bit of time to seep, to sip, to sippy, to take a little at a time. It's hot, you better sip it a little at a time. Make fro. Fro is a way. You have, you have a, a to and a fro when you're rowing the boat. You, when you're, when you're uh, cutting shingles, you use a fro knife. It's one that you push away from you. To, to a little of time to make a way. The click rake. The, the click rake. As in... Um, if you're playing, if you're playing poker at the casino, the, the click takes a rake. Every time somebody wins, they're taking ten percent of the pot. That's to sippy, to make away with the click rake, the house rake. They're taking a little bit at a time. To o neg. And so this is the word that I want to show y'all. So it comes up uh, several times here. But it comes up this twice, just like this. Oh, neg. And the towers and jackals in their luxurious places. And the dragons in their pleasant places. That's, that's O neg. O negative. It's luxurious. It's a delight to have the O neg. And so we can see here that, that they got it all wrong. But uh, 2 1. O N E. 2 1. And he's backwards. 2 1 Maya. And they got this one down as the jackals. The ball men what to. Ball means war, as in playing football. We're having a war with the ball. And then the jackals again. What nice. W T N I S. What nice. The jackals and the jackals. Two totally different words. You can see that they don't know what they're talking about. Then you can see the next word right after that. E B E J K J K L. That's your jackal right there. To be jackal. And it's not a mistake here. They'll uh they'll give this this word to a call to eat all the way through the Bible. But this is in the jackal. In the jackal of O neg. O negative. The preferred blood type. And so it'll be called pleasant. And in the Greek it uh it calls it the delicate woman, the O neg. And what it means about that is if you have O negative blood, you don't wanna have to need blood because it's hard to find more O negative blood. You could give it to anybody, but no, we're not delicate. We 
we don't catch disease. It's a preferred blood type. A delight is the O neg of the f of the PhD use. The O neg of Fed. The Q is PH. PhD use. The Feds. That's usually given the meaning of the holy ones. But it's the feds, the doctors use. Of the doctors use you. From cover to cupboard to. Honorable and shall honor him. From cupboard to cupboard to. They want to preserve, they want that blood. Put it in the cupboard. Alright. This is long. The longer I want to get. I, love, I got some really good stuff on the Tower of Babylon. Or to love the Babylon. And I'll get on that here soon. Alright, good day.